everybody and welcome to this video on X-ray detector technology. My name is Tobias Stürzer, I'm head of the single crystal applications team at Bruca. Today we're going to talk about detection quantum efficiency of your X-ray detector. It sounds like a pretty complicated thing, but what does it really mean? Detection quantum efficiency describes the capability of your X-ray detector to reliably absorb and detect all incoming photons over a wide range of photon energies. Only if your X-ray photon is absorbed in the sensor, it can be converted to electrons and your readout electronics can detect it. If the, if the photon is not absorbed, then it passes right through the sensor, is lost from your measurement, of course degrades your data quality, and in the worst case, will also harm your readout electronics behind the sensor. So absorption, detection quantum efficiency, is one of the key properties of your detector. Of course, this is highly material dependent. Absorption depends on the material you're using for your sensor. In my right hand, I have a silicon wafer. The silicon wafer is 645 micrometers thick, and this is the exact material and exact thickness of sensor material that's used in the currently available flat or folded HPET detectors. In my left hand, I have an X-ray conversion material. The Photon 3 is the only photon counting detector that uses such an X-ray conversion material. And we will now do an X-ray experiment comparing the absorption capabilities of the silicon wafer and this X-ray conversion material. This is my D8 Venture Duo system with a copper source in front and a moly source in the back. For our absorption experiment, we are going to use the moly source and therefore I also removed the beam stop because we want to use the direct beam to do our ex absorption experiment. What we're going to do now is we will measure the direct beam without anything and in the next steps we will first um, mount the silicon in front of the detector and then we will mount the rare earth conversion material in front of the detector and just compare how much intensity still gets to the detector. Okay, let's start with the first experiment, the direct beam without anything in front of the detector. I put the detector to 100 millimeter distance and to theta zero. So for the next shot, I will mount the silicon wafer now in front of the detector. So for the third step of our experiment, I will unmount now the silicon wafer and mount the rare earth x-ray conversion material in front of the detector. So let's have a look at the results of our three experiments. First of all, let's zoom in a little bit. What we want to do now is we want to integrate the intensity of this bright spot. For this, we choose a square cursor, 15 times 15 should be good, center it around the bright spot and read out the intensity. The exact same thing we do now for all three frames we collected, write down the intensities and compare them. So here we summarize the outcome of our experiment. So this is without anything in front of the detector, that is with the silicon chip in front of the detector, and that's with the rare earth x-ray converter in front of the detector. And these are the intensities recorded by our detector. So that's actually photons that are lost and not recorded with the chips we tested. If you do your math right and recalculate this to absorption coefficients, this gives for the silicon almost 60%, which means Every third photon is not counted and is lost. Yeah. While the rare earth x-ray converter with more than 90% is very close to the optimum. So that's a really good converter for hard radiation molybdenum. We did the exact same experiment again with silver radiation. 
because absorption, of course, depends on the material. The higher the atomic number, the higher the absorption coefficient. The harder the radiation, the lower the absorption coefficient. So here we should see this effect much more pronounced. And that's exactly what we get. Again, same, same setup for the measurement. But what you get with silver radiation is only 33% on the silicon chip, which means two photons out of three are lost. You measure only one third of the photons from your crystal. While with the rare earth um, X-ray converter, with 70%, you are still very, very good. So to summarize this, silicon is just not a good absorber for hard radiation. If you want to properly detect harder radiation like molybdenum or silver, you have to go for an X-ray conversion material. Well, you may think now, 70%, that's not really great, at 100%. But the, the advantage with our detectors is you can, of course, adapt um, the conversion material to your needs. So if you have a silver-specific application, we just use another conversion material, and you can push even absorption of silver radiation up to over 90% and having an almost perfect detector even for this hard radiation.